Yeah. Alright, so here we are. We've got the Bel Air uh, 3.4 or 3400 aircon just arrived. Um, worked out really good deal. Uh, eBay had a special on, and then um, this bloke was heading up here anyway. Everyone wanted $400 shipping. Um, this bloke said, Look, I'm going that way anyway. I'll do it for 50 And I said, Beautiful. And he just dropped it off. So, uh, I'm going to try to crack on and get this, this hole chopped in the roof. So Max just um, sorting out where I have to cut the, the roof. Don't slide down the front there, brother. All right, back on the van. So on the weekend, I put the aircon in. It's only just sitting there. Um, the Sikaflex was really thick, so I just had to uh, wait until it dried a bit longer, put the aircon in. And because it was going to rain, I thought I'd better do that. So now we're doing uh, wooden 70 by 35 pine strips along here got to get the roof flat most people i could do it curved roof and then just screw straight into here but um i'm just going to do it flat all these grills are flat so a flat roof's going to be better and i'll show you how to do it i made a template for, for a board first and we've got a couple here now and this is how it's going to go stick it up here flat there so it's not much you know you're not losing much height um, and all these grills and everything will be flat it's just a bit easier to work with I can get uh, V group uh, ply 6 mil which I could bend around the roof and everything but um, do it this way it's easier and then I can just shoot my wood up in here with a with a breading gun from here we're gonna put brackets for the aircon and at the back as well so I'll show you how I cut the wood I don't have fancy jigsaws and stuff so I'll have to do it a different way which I'll show you We're going to do, uh, so these are all nice and straight, beautiful. What we're going to do now is uh, the back one, because the aircon sort of rests on this. You can see it's heavy, it's bowing down. I'm going to take these, these wires out, put a board across the back, and then I'm going, to, I'm going to brace it, either one or two from here. I can screw it straight to there. Easy. Alright, so what we've done, um, oh, we need to brace the aircon, so uh, doing that there. Um, most people do steel, but uh, I don't have steel, these are just off cut, so do that. Bit of thicker flex on top, and I can put some screws in this side, straight from the other side. Beautiful, I'll do that with the back, the back part of the roof as well. Alright, so this is the uh, aircon mount. The roof's a lot solid now. I could probably stick one across there, but it probably doesn't need it. Yeah, I suppose if I've got a bit of scrap wood left over, it's easy to do. Wood's easy to work with than steel. Steel's good, but it's I don't have it. It's, it's just difficult. Anyway, that's solid. These up here, I just had to trim this off a little bit for the because I needed the aircon further back. But that works out fine. The internal bracket still lines up good. Yeah. Oh, bless me. Now this back part, as you can see, it's bowing down. That's where the aircon is actually sitting, so it's not bolted down at the moment. Um, I'm going to take those wires off. I'll just move them. They can go up in, in the cavity, cavity space. So uh, let's see how we do it. All right, a bit more progress. So we've done, done the, uh, the blocking for the aircon, for the front part of the aircon. The problem is the back. The back just sits on the top of the... The roof and it was just a bit saggy so um, I'll put this little support there in. Uh, 
that's not too bad, come up nice, and that way I can finish off the, 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 the roofing just up here, straight there. I'll probably put um, uh, that really stretchy material across here. Alright, so we got all the wood pretty much done. Um, problem is this aircon only does a 70mm thick roof, so uh, we've got these are 70, so it's it's just going to be a bit narrow. So I'll have to maybe get a uh, a thick roof kit for the for the aircon. See how we go. It, it may go. It's going to be tight. Oh, but no, it, it won't because we've got a 10mm. 10mm board on top of that for this for the ceiling so anyway beautiful so a bit of sprinkles before um, I managed to get the other uh, aluminium angle for the roof for the solar solar panels the back ones so I'm gonna have uh, 640 uh, watts of solar perfect so there those are uh, the other four four bolts I used M8 stainless with a uh, nylon wash up the top. Yeah, the wood turned out nice. Uh, so we are going to keep this this dividing wall. 